Oh, I just want you to see this. This is gray matter. It's hooked up where the Wind Max used to be. I think I've shown that in one of my other previous videos. And let me do a little adjustment here. There we go. Um, and what I've done is I adjusted the furling tail on it. There's 40 amps. It does that on a regular basis, but I, of course, don't carry a camera around with me all the time. So, you know, that's what you get. But this is the one that has the Windy Nation blades on it and my special design, my build. Um, I've got, uh, we've been having an inversion. That's, that's when you get a swap around of pressure zones and all that jazz up here in the mountain ranges. And um, this one here, there's a 4245. Oh, there you go, peak out. That's what I'm talking about. Now, it, and then and then the voltage is slamming pretty high. Now, uh, it's been peaking upwards of 16, 17 volts when it does that. I wish I would have had that further back so you could see it. But it's been making some real good power. That's the Windy Nation aluminum blades on there. And let me get let me get over here and move Emma, and you'll see the the same scenario here. Let me get some light on it. Um, it's got lights on this thing, so I hope it works good. Uh, the Winmax, Skymax one, of course, temperatures are dropping a little bit. They're in the mid-50s. It starts losing its ability to make good power. There is... Here, turn that off. I don't know if I can turn these lights off or not. Uh, there we go. It starts to make... Um, see, there it is right there, 25, 26 amps. And then the wind speed, that's, I'll be honest with you, that is not accurate. It was just at 26 miles per hour. The direction's accurate. So you can see it's an inversion because it's coming out of the south southeast. So the inversion is pretty accurate. If I leave it on there, you might get a reading of peak. But there's the day of the time, 11, 10 p.m. And it's 12, 11 of 14. Um, and... Hopefully it'll show it peak come back up because it just dropped it. It dropped a little bit. So wind speed's 25, 26 miles per hour. It's been that way. There we go. There we go. 27.3. And uh, the uh, uh, the wind max, you know, cooler temperatures. Uh, Sky max, wind max, HYE, renameables, whatever they want to call it. it that's what it. That's what it does. Uh, here I'll turn this voltage switch on. And now you can see the voltage here, um, there. So you can see the voltage where it's at. It's almost at 15 also. Uh, these wires up here, see this is coming in on three 14s, 14 gauge, 14 gauge, and 14 gauge using all three wires each time for each leg. And then it comes out and hits a uh, 10 gauge and goes right straight into the machine. So there's the machine. You can see the fan is running. The rectifier is very warm and running and that's this this is the box that has all the goodies in it all the controllers and um, runs on runs that little SSR for the cooling I got a fan on right now trying to drain some of it down uh, we also have a uh, heater unit 800 watt heater that's burning right now just trying to keep the voltage from shutting down all the uh, inverters and stuff but as you can see over here this thing here is a Thermodyne PMA. Now, I did uh, shift the core, okay? So I shifted the core on it uh, back a little bit so that it's not stuck in the iron field and it, and it gives a little higher frequency so its output's better, all right? So it does increase its voltage by about 5%, but it increases its frequency by about 15%, which really made the difference. You've seen that 15 amp plus peak. Now, um, let's get out here. Hello, Preston. That's my new one. He's a, he's a, oh, he come from a performing family. And let's get out here and you're going to get to hear, hopefully this picks up good sound. And you'll get to hear what I get to hear. Um, hopefully the wind is not too excessive where you can't hear my voice. But you can listen to the turbine. And that's, the, that is gray matter up there. Hopefully, let's see if I can adjust that up for focus here see and then of course you've got now that one is running back to the house there's its wires back to the house uh, I can show it to you inside the shop too 
and then of course you have Pinky. That's Pinky up there, but we're gonna have to replace her blades because they're killing bearings. And there's chaos over there running like a mad dog too. But you know, in a 25 mile per hour average wind, they told us we'd have gusts to 30 possibly around here. So let's get in here in the shop right quick. And you'll see here, let me pull this picture back in. All right, that's better. And you'll see what the voltage is right here. So the voltage right now, all the way on this side of the shop, which if you look, is a good ways away from the battery bank, which is way back there, okay? Um, however, we have a secondary battery bank here. Let me turn these shop lights on and uh, we'll get everything powered up in here <laughs> so you can see what I'm talking about here, okay? Now, down here, this is my static voltage here. You can see that all hooked up, everything works. And what I've got a problem with is I want you to listen. I hope that this microphone and this little thing will pick it up. You hear that vibrating noise? The bearings are going out on another PMA. And if you look at the power, I guess it's hot in here. <laughs> Them things are really running. Look at the little, little lights are blinking. Oh, you can see the blink cycles on it or not, but it's, it's cycling like crazy. The little fans are on. Let's see if you can see those that cool these SSRs, see? So, and they, and this thing has to reach about 150 degrees, way up here at the top, before that thing will do it. That's that old Winmax. You know, the rest of it was thrown away because it was just shit, personally. And this is the one I built. My nice, you know, the where the heat goes up instead of into each other. And it's got a thermal relay on it. There is uh, currently a very small load, about 200 watts on the inverter, because it's just got a flicker. But here is uh, Chaos, uh, and it has the metal blades. Here, let me get a bigger picture here. Um, see if that helps a little bit. There is the two turbines right there. There's Pinky, it's the one with the plastic blades on it. And then there's Chaos with the metal blades, the Windy Nation blades, on it. Now, I, I, uh, I am getting some really good, look at this, 34, 35 amps, I'm getting that. But however, with the plastic blades, because of the winds, they're cavitating, which means they're, 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 they're doing that little flickering, you know, the, the tips of them. And when they do that, they're really beating the hell out of the bearing. And this is the second bearing I've had to replace on a turbine with plastic blades. So don't, don't expect very long life out of plastic blades, guys. Uh, but the metal blades over here on Chaos, I mean, hell, they're, they're doing pretty good. They don't, uh, uh, they're Windy Nation blades, and they don't do too bad. The blades that you get from a place like Missouri Wind and, and Thermodyne, you know, they're all right, as long as you don't end up wind, with winds like I got. Uh, because look at the results. You see what was in the house? Look at this. This is terrible. And you get over here and you see this one. And it produces more because the blades aren't doing that that gibbering stuff okay so um what i talked about with cavitating let's see here get some of these blades out uh oh hell there's one what i talk about with cavitating is i mean the blade tip is doing this and if you look at these blades you see and what's happening is in the wind they're doing this little vibrating back and forth like that so while your blade is fluttering like that it's causing that to travel back to the hub and it's jerking on that bearing constantly so I took a bearing out here a while back from a from a uh, Missouri turbine and tried to figure out why it went all to hell and it's the same reason as that one right now is going all to hell so my results are pretty simple pretty get categorical, not very difficult to figure out. The turbine blades are plastic. They vibrate, they wobble, and they just can't be made right. So, as you can see, this is the voltage as it's being kept down. I'm pulling roughly 5.2 amps lighting all of this up, okay? That's 5.2 amps lighting every bit of this up right now. That's all LEDs lighting it. And uh, then I'm pulling about another 
75 watts because of those they are on a um, they're on the inverter and so the whole system including the stereo here including the big onkyo back here uh, it's on that road pro true sine wave now and even this one is all on inverters so everything i've got including like this big inverter i've never installed it it's my spare backup but so far those peaks have never failed on me all right guys just giving you an idea what you're going to be facing if you get into this wind turbine jazz i suggest you stay with metal blades as best you can now now you see that there's 45 amps there's 40 uh, 35 amps but look at this look at this plastic blades man they used to do a lot better but if the wind isn't real steady if it isn't this is what you get why well, you get this over here on the metal blades okay so the windy nation blades they're producing what you seen 40 something amps while i go out here on this one and the of course the uh, wires are getting pretty warm uh and these are real hot now and these are real hot but that's what you get y'all gotta learn how to uh just deal with this kind of shit, man if you're gonna buy this stuff all right it is now 122 there's your readings right now 24.4 miles per hour i saw a 30 Point two mile per hour wind here a while ago. These are still producing pretty good. Uh, wind max is pretty much a shit fest. But the big thing is, is the inversion. The wind is uh, it's bouncing now. It's not showing you right now, but it's bouncing. Believe it or not, to uh, now it now it is in the southeast. And here in about an hour, it's going to swing all the way to the west. Going to be a miserable night for the wind. But there is a, what is that, a 2728 on the wind max. All right, so what we've got over here is, let's get a good picture of this. And we've got right up here, hold on here. This is, oh, we're pumping 30, pretty steady. Oop, there's 35, oop, there's a 40. And here, let me get back here so we can see that voltage coop too. Okay, so you see the voltage jumping up, and that's what it's fighting that battery bank right now. I've got a lot of heat diversion on this system right now. So still running the um, still running the 3,000 watt peak modified. See, that's a 1,500 true, and then that's 50. I got an outlet double wired like that, and as you can see here. Still running it. Look at that baby there. Here, let me move this wire out of the way so we can see that better. Man, I tell you what. <laughs> I even put a fan in here blowing on these things because, man, that was getting smoking hot. But there you go. There you go. Look, look at the difference again. But that is your aluminum blades and that is your plastic blades. Anybody want to argue the difference? Same program, $500. Come prove that this is wired up some other way other than the standard way and make yourself a ton of money. Come on, $500 bet. Bring 500 bucks and you will get 20 times the payoff. I'll sign the contract. So anybody who doubts what these things are doing, that includes the manufacturer of that turbine. If you think you're so fucking smart, you bring your ass up here and bring your money. Willing to make a bet with any of these clowns. Pinky got brand new silver blades on her. No more plastic blades, guys. <laughs>